My name's Jessica Leia. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. Except that I'm alone in a dark room and it's really late. My name is Jessica Leia. Welcome to me and my song. This month is all about the song called I'll Keep Believing. That's right, the song that I wrote and I'm so happy to share with you. The first week of this month I had a little chat with everybody about how and why this song was ever even born. So this song, I'll Keep Believing, is a song of hope. I don't just mean having hope and continuing to believe in dreams, but also because as humans, we can't seem to not keep believing. As soon as I have a belief, that belief then becomes a barrier between me and my direct experience with the truth. With a capital T. God, just leave me! Just leave me! Just leave me! Ah. I think that's what it's like when you try and take what people believe away from them. <laughs> I totally get why people get all defensive and aggressive when you challenge what they believe. Because some of my most painful experiences in life have been when my beliefs were shattered. No! Then I sing it for ya! Solo in the raw reveal. Ignore what I'm seeing. So I don't mistake it up above the truth. Coincidentally, you can download all this music I'm talking about and see these videos and all of such things over at my website, meandmysong.com. You can also go to jesscalea.com. Today we're going behind the scenes into a real recording studio. Yes! So we can record the basic tracks of I'll Keep Believing. That's like the instrumental stuff. So you get to see everything that's going to happen with that. Pretty cool, huh? I'm excited. I'm so excited that I'm going to go with you. <gasps> Also because sometimes stuff gets confusing in these situations and I want to make sure I come along to help explain any confusing stuff to you. And I also want to make sure that if I feel the need to make any like sarcastic remarks or anything like that, that I can do so. So that's, that's also why I'll be here with you. Enjoy. <laughs> Just in case. Yes, uh, I think I've done this in a video before. They are recording <laughs> now, yeah. So you know what it feels like to be a camera getting your lens cleaned. <laughs> I need my lens cleaned. It is very, very dirty. All right, let's, uh, let's say hello to the studio. Oh, my God, you like the paparazzi. So first we have to start at the very beginning, at this very nondescript location. We had to follow some breadcrumbs to find this place. Maybe you have this random little hole in the wall. Skyline Studios! Come and check it out, it's pretty cool. We have some pretty cool technological stuff going on. Let's say hi to the crew. That's Serge, and he's the nearest engineer, and that is Scott, who's going to be our engineer. If you're in a real cool big old recording studio, they usually have really cool contraptions like hearback mixers that allow each of the musicians to make their own mix of the sound of the band. So each individual can control the volume for every instrument in the mix. It's pretty cool and it really helps to make life a lot easier. Okay, I'm just doing playback here. Hang on one second. Ow! Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
That's the click. Yeah. You guys got click at eight only? I'm getting that on three. How about now, eight only? Uh, Rob, your bass is on three. Guitar should be on four. I'm not hearing it. I hear it nothing. My guitar's on four. Your talk back's in seven, right? Eight? And the acoustic guitar are on six. Drums are on one and two. Okay. So you move the guitar to six now, right? The acoustic. And I'll put eight. I hear it nothing. I, oh, I have the clicks on eight. Is that what I heard? What is the click in? What? There it is. Hey, Dean. 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 Is your button pushed between seven and eight? Oh, I got it on seven. Or in seven? What's right, it in eight? You got your click. And you got it on six? So all the talkbacks are in seven? So it should be output eight only. I definitely oh, have it on seven. I'm sorry, it's eight. You're right. Click is on eight. Total mix should be on one and two. It's going into 21 on the snake. Yeah, so there's nothing on five anymore. It's on eight. Base should be on three. Definitely seven. I'm on six, baby. No, I, I just struck five. Okay, I'm back on board. There it is, I have it on eight. Drums should be on the one, two, all the- Yeah, I'll talk back, will be seven. Okay. Uh, what uh, channel is the click in? It is eight. on eight. Keep it at zero if it's low. Seven is talk back. You will find me on channel six. Here every night. 21 on the snake. Okay. See? Easy, right? All I'm wondering is, who's on Feist? Because at this point I have no idea. But the click is definitely on eight. Rich? Rich, are you cool with the click, the tone it is? I'm not hearing it. It's, it's well, it's eight, not right? on, that's why. So. Well, how can I tell what the tone is if it's not on? <laughs> it was on voice. <laughs> I did not even make any of that up. That actually happened. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Another important thing during sound check is to boss each other around a lot. Just so you know. So just play, please. Oh, another fun thing about having the talkback mixes set up is that some people can't hear you, so it gives you the opportunity to boss other people around, having them boss other people around. Yeah, just make sure you back off the, back off the mic by about a foot. Okay. How's that? He wants you to back off by about a foot. Okay. But put it right at the hole. He says put it right at the hole. Put it in the hole. But back further. Oh, okay. So pointing towards the hole, but... Yeah. All right, go ahead and play your guitar. And Dean, could you tell Eric, once we start recording, just stay in the front of the room and zoom and not do a lot of movement? Eric, when we start recording, please stay in the front of the room. I guess she means that side of the camera. Yes. Matt, can you tell Dean to just hit the red button, the on and off is on top? Hey, uh, hit, can you hit the red button, the on and off is on top? I actually usually have to boss Eric around, like, at least five times before he actually does what I told him to. I don't know where the guitars went. We'll get them in a minute. They went to uh, a they went to a grocery store real quick. Really? Yeah. Why for? Benadryl. Who's having allergic stuff? I'm not sure. Oh, so you. They asked me if I wanted any drugs. I said, "Well, <laughs> we're right next to a overpass." Cut it. Cut it. So. <laughs> Cut it. You're not following orders. Cut it meaning Cut stop recording. The oh. <laughs> But in all fairness, sometimes it takes a couple of times to boss me around too before I finally get it. <laughs> I'm not the guitar. Turn five up. No, I mean like it's cut out. Turn five up. Just do what I say, bitch! So Jess. Yes, sir. Starts out on a chorus. No, it's not a chorus. It's a, it's the riff. It's the in between. It's a little interlude. And then we, and then we do a verse. Okay, that's double verse. When I say starts out, I mean the it's one not that, double verse song. You're getting confused with sail on. It's not two verses at the beginning of this song. This song is pretty. Yeah. Do you have Max got the layout in front of him? Oh yeah! You can look at the lyric sheet that I made for y'all. <laughs> does, that, does that make sense for everybody? I don't know, I just woke up. Good morning, Dean! Welcome to the show! Are you really gonna make us do this sober? <laughs> hey, the, there's wine. You can start drinking at any time. One of those sheets has the BPM written on it. 105. Okay. 
Yep. All right, you guys are on it. BPM stands for beats per minute, and that's the speed or the tempo that you record the song at, or that we're going to record the song at. And in case you're wondering, we actually are going to record this song at some point. It's going to happen. <laughs> it is, I swear. <laughs> okay. I'm all clear here. Clear here. Everybody ready? Yep. All right, here we go. First take. Standing by. Standing by. Standing by. So let's do it like we did yesterday. You hit the chord on one, two, three, boom. Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. Okay, cool. I mean, ching, two, three, four, four. go. Right. Ching. Ching is like. <laughs> it's like ching is like this. Three, four, one, two. Hold on, guys, I can't. I'll put it right here. Okay, I just had to turn myself up. I lost myself in the again. Two, three, four. Oh, yeah, the, the, the count in your chord, too? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I need to do the that. one, and it's. Okay. We will. We will actually record this song. We will. You guys ready? Yeah, yes, sir. Ready. Two, three, four. So, cool, first take. thank you. Hey. Um, so, a question for you all. Um, I felt, and this is really for Rich, actually. Are you okay with doing it again with the click all the way through? If you want, yeah. I, I'm asking you. I'm asking you who's on first. And the last chorus is just one full chorus, no right. extra tag, no short inning. It's just one full chorus. Yep. Okay. That's correct, right, Jess? Mm-hmm. So there's only two verses. The hand signals are helpful. The hand signals. Okay. Nobody's giving hand signals because everybody's playing. Where's our hand signal guy? You WTF. are the hand signal guy. No, I, I, I knew where I was, but for some reason I thought there was like an extra bar at the end of the last chorus. Okay. I'll definitely give you a meaningful glare. Okay. Yeah, let Dean glare at you. He gave me a semi-meaningful glare only halfway through the last <laughs> chorus. I almost ended it too soon. All right, yeah. no, he didn't really mean that one. Let's take another one. I really can't use my hands either because they're kind of preoccupied. Two, three, four... No snares. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I always take them off to limit the False buzz. Start. Sorry, my bad. We're going to record this song. We will. <laughs> I swear. Two, three. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we don't mean. Yeah. Okay. okay. I didn't know what happened. Yeah. yeah, we only did the. We only did the. We just crashed. Well, that was the solo, right? We were half. Yeah. We we're almost done with the solo, yeah. from my perspective. How do you feel about your drums? Um, I'm playing pretty much the same thing every time. So if you just want to pick it up from there, I think it'll work. Is that the right answer? <laughs> well, <laughs> I love that, Rich. That was the best answer ever. <laughs> Is that the right answer? Yeah, let's just take it from top. Yeah. This is the beginning. I was perfect. Good job, guys. Yeah, dude. Does that feel anything one way or nope. another? No. Perfect. That sounded like cream pie to me. Perfect. That sounds good. Rich, you're a monster. <laughs> Rich, you're an animal! Overdubs? What? We wanted to have tambourine in this song, but we did not have a tambourine player. <laughs> well, we went back on top of the recording we just made, and Dean played some tambourine on top of that recording. That's an overdub. Oh. And it basically went like this.
Done. Yay! 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 He also needed to do his guitar solo. And during the session you just watched, he was doing rhythm guitar. And um, he can't do them both at the same time because there's only one of him. So we went back and overdubbed the solo part. Yeah, that went like this. All right, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> All right, so do you like these? Do you want me to like, give you a print of these? All right, I'm done. With all of the badass you get today. <laughs> Normally, we do like a listen to this song so we could all sit down and check it out, make sure we're happy with it. I mean, we did do that anyway, but I'm not going to show it in the video because we spent all that time showing you the overdubs and I gave you a tour of the studio. But, you know, we just listened to it and decided it was fantastic, and that's pretty cut and dry. So uh, I'll just let you know that next week I'm going to throw down the final vocals on this puppy. I'll keep believing, and we'll have a final version of this here song. Ta-da! You can also get yourself a copy of the solo version that I did for you. If, in fact, you're into that solo acoustic singer-songwriter stuff, I don't know how you couldn't be into this solo acoustic singer-songwriter stuff. I mean, come on. <laughs> hey, you got to be confident in this business. <laughs> I'm going to say bye to you in just a sec in the final outro. But before that happens, mm -hmm. I want to share with you this session special moment where you get to see how much I really inspire the people in my life to live a healthy lifestyle, just to be healthy, you know. I'm real inspirational like that. <sighs> Where'd Jessica go? I don't know. I think she's taking a shit right now. It could be. <laughs> although, although you video? know what? I got to go over and say that's probably not happening because she's doing the cleanse. Oh. So she's only Master pump. cleanse? Yeah. That, that hurts. That lemonade. sucks. Yeah, she does them a lot. I do them every now and then. She that got me to try one. No what she, day is she on? Uh, I don't know. I think she just finished. She's at day 10? No, I, she doesn't for a I think she do she's the whole back month? on food today. Doesn't she do fuck? So I, I do them for ten days. Yeah, they, they're brutal. I did it for ten. She talked me into trying yeah. it. I usually do it for ten. Um, I almost died. I passed out. I did it for like four or five days, and I I can pass out and almost hit my head. And my my parents were almost going to take me to the emergency room. I think I, I figured out from those cleanses is that I just rather would be unhealthy <laughs> if that's what it takes to be healthy. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not helping that much. Thanks for coming this week on Me and My Song. Come on back next week so you can hear the final mixed master produced version of this song played to the backdrop of a really cool rock star video made by yours truly. You're welcome. Just so you know, I keep doing this because I know what makes you smile and sometimes even laugh. And because I know that music heals. I do, I know that. And I'm going to keep on doing it no matter what. Yes. But also, just so you know, it is really hard work and it does cost a lot of money and I don't get vacation days. So if you feel so inclined to be a donator, please do so. I won't stop you, really. Come on, get free. You can donate just one time, you know, like throw in a tip in a tip jar. Or you can donate whatever amount you want every month. Just like, cha-ching, just throw me a little chunk change every month. I just said chunk change. Like I'm a chump or something. If you become a monthly donator, you'll get special perks. Like free music downloads, extra videos, and a cool shirt like this. Because... Having money on planet Earth always gets you special perks. But this is a 100% guilt-free request. I do this hoping to make you feel good. So don't feel bad if you can't cough up the dough. <coughs> Shoot, I'm just glad you're here. Because otherwise I'd be all alone. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> this is Jessica Leia signing off. Thanks for coming. Come on back next week. I will be here for you. And, uh... Also, if you could just do me a favor and remember, keep singing your song. Me and my song.